Okay. Um, hi everyone. Today we share with you about true line number five for patio. Okay. Basically, um, when you tell when I tell you patio, we have two different ones. The first one we call that cover patio or patio cover. The second one is enclosed patio. This is an example from cover patio. You look at this. We have the additional part outside from existing house. We have the post. We have the roof. But around them is open. So cover patio is around is open. Just the post like this is a cover patio. We have the post and after that we have the roof one outside from the house. Enclosed patio is similar like that but we enclose on of them by specific material. This one is so light you can take out very easy. So enclosed patio is different with cover patio is they have some material cover outside from that area. So we have two different one. Cover patio open around just the post and the roof one only. The second one is enclosed patio. We have the we call they call that the playtex um class. It's not drywall outside. Everything outside very light. You can take out very easy. Okay? So we call that enclosed patio. And both of them we cannot cook inside. Just a space for you can sit down, talk, um, look at the view outside, drink coffee, something like this, but we cannot cook inside from this one. Okay? Either um cover patio and closed patio. Just the space. Just the space so you can sit down, talk, drinking coffee or you know, um play game something like that but you cannot cook outside here it not allowed okay this is another example from cover patio you see that's this is existing house for sliding door and you can get out for the space outside um, you can do the post with the sharp roof and this one you call that's cover patio same thing with this one uh, this one and this one so you see that just some space you can stay you can talk you can play game but you cannot cook everything everything outside is open just the post and the shed roof okay before you start to design that's one you need application you come to the city stop by to the city ask for application and you fill out some information right here this is one standard example um, this is existing house that's mean your house so you can ask patio outside here in the rear yard, in the front yard, or some house they have the big side yard, you can create that. But the first one, you need to stop by to the city, uh, fill out the application, and tell them how big from the patio you plan to do and where. And you just put dimension right here, very basic, uh, about patio. And they will check on the map, they will let you know how big you can do. And they will let you know um, at that time. So now if you do the wood one, you can follow the guideline right here um, about the raptor, that means whole number right here, the span from the raptor and uh, the header. For example, right here you need the header and what size you need to use for that. You have many options. It depends on uh, how much you use it and how big from the patio you use. The footing, the header, and the raptors is a many joy for you. You can select which one it um, you know it um, fix with your design, and you have many options to do. Few notes right here. So basically, on pair on cover patio, you just need the post, the footing right here, and the shed roof right there. For example, this is the house from um, existing house, and you want to create from the patio cover right here. You just need to create the shed roof with the post and the footing right here. On up the detail right here, it's your choice. You can select which one you like to do, the big one or the small one. And after that, it depends on the distance, how big from the patio you can change um, the one for fix with that one. So now if you look at this one, this is one example 
um, for example this is one ADU and after that some people want to add from patio right here the cover patio if you look on the top down you can see that this is the column the dark one you see the column and after that here is the shed roof for the cover patio so if you look at this existing how you can get through the patio but you cannot set up everything on here just the spray only okay so that's what we call that cover patio if you look at this one this is your existing house and this is cover patio and you look at it the shed roof they have the slot not really much but the slot one for the water from here can get out from the shed roof and go to uh, down sprout this is the post a lot of people use four by four some people use six by six it depends on you this is the post and it is a shed roof it's for example right here the shed roof right here for make sure the water can go here and go to the dust brow go back to the floor this is uh, the footing so when you apply for that one and when you start for a contraction for the patio the first one you need to do the footing right here right there and after that you do the post and finally you do the shed roof so each time you put like that you need to call for inspector city inspector they coming they look at it they say okay and you continue with the post after that you do with this one and look at this from here the, the header the header right here um, until the finished floor we need to do minimum is six feet eight so this is seven feet four so it's okay if you do the, the roof for example the how you do the big patio and this goes straight here and maybe it's down so that's why um, they need the maximum I mean uh, the, the minimum from the high is six feet eight if you do lower than that they not qualify for you do for the patio so you need to uh, design follow that from the finished floor up to the header the header right here it should be six feet eight inches minimum okay that the cover patio so if you see like that you can do how big how long how long from that one how how wide from the patio is depend on how much you have in your existing house if you have the big space you can design bigger and remember from the header right here to the foundation right here the footing it should be six feet eight inches minimum if you do longer uh, I mean wider from patio and this one low down and maybe the header from here to here not qualify so it depends on how big from your uh, yards and you can design for patio bigger or smaller depend on that one okay and close patio um, one more time you can use material outside very specific material it's light it can remove anytime and this one you cannot use drywall you just use some kind like um, the exterior material and on the roof one you need some very light roof and the outside here you look at this that is the flexi class some class is all screening class also so that's why you can move very easy same thing with this one and this one you call that enclosed patio you can design the group one uh, follow the the roof from existing house however the material around here they need very special uh, material for enclosed patio and the second one they need to open each of them like this 65 percent minimum for the lights can come in so basically before you design for enclosed patio um, a lot of city they have the guideline for you need to do follow um, the guideline in the city i'm working for it in westminster city and enclosed patio they have the guideline like this for make sure you have the plan reparation before you come into um, to submit for us and uh, we have uh, some of the material methods how to use for enclosed patio something you cannot do something you must to do this one you cannot do for example you cannot use drywall you cannot use electric electrical fixture or some kind like not approved exterior one everything in enclosed patio must be exterior use exterior use and something you can do for example you can do the stucco on the on the roof you can use for 
combo side for siding or vinyl siding you can use wood shingle something like this and so that's why do and do not you need to follow the guideline to do that uh, patio must be built in front of emergency it cannot build in the emergency egress window for example you have bedroom in the in the existing house you cannot do the enclosed patio um, follow that you cannot and you cannot do some indoors for electrical or gas meter location for example you have already for gas or electrical panel already on the wall you plan to do for enclosed patio you cannot do that so that's why this is some of the guidelines you need to follow before you start with enclosed patio okay this is one example so you can see for example this is the house because this is the kitchen so that's why you okay to do for propel and closer but if this one is the bedroom you cannot if this one is the egress window you cannot do and this is the bedroom you cannot do enclosed patio on this side you can do another one but this one you cannot for example this is the bedroom so you cannot do enclosed patio on this one this one is kitchen so you okay so now if you look elevation on up around here for the material that's a the screening so it's a light even the door or the window is a screening you cannot use drywall on here the material is um uh, the blade takes glass and after that uh, the next one so if you look at elevation it's look like this but that's in the panel you can take out very easy that's enclosed patio so now if you don't use the wood material you use some kind like the 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 aluminum and that's one you have the manufacturer and you need to show that's one they call that's the apmo i a p m o so you can use that one with the number and you can bring with the cd you said that's i use the apmo with the serial number look like this and the cd for example i am i will check this number for it will it, it's still it's still um uh, not expired so that's why you can use this one when you use this material this is the aluminum so that's why on of the manufacturer they show the list from the license engineer they have um you know the license engineer electric or the the license people they have the list from the people on there they sign up they stamp so that's why with the model like this um you can uh, after planning a group approve with the side one and you uh, just show us the number and you can uh, be approved in the counter this is some example for the footing okay so basically um the patio and uh, cover patio or enclosed patio just different if they have the cover outside and open around so if it's open we call this cover patio but if they have cover around you call that enclosed patio so the first time when i go with the patio um you know uh, design i feel confused they call that the cover but they're not cover around but enclosed patio they cover around so remember cover patio is just the post and the roof one around of that is open just the wall from existing house and the rest of them is open okay okay so that's it for the patio um uh, i think that is all because uh, the last time when i record that i forgot to turn on the sound so that's why you hear nothing you just see that so now i try again with this one and hope it works thank you so much for watching and see you next time